in three. Andrei Gladkov from Russia in four. There is Andrei Gladkov. Still a young man, still only 19 years of age, but he has kind of taken up the mantle in the absence of Jonathan Fox, a European champion in 14, and a world champion last year. There's Kavanit Sayap from Ukraine. Again, it was a silver medalist last year at the World Champs. So the World Championship, gold and silver medalist, will go side by side here. Gladkov was money. I say he took the, the title in the absence of Jonathan Fox, but he, he's swimming a very, very good standard, very close to Jonathan Fox's world record. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes you get a champion elect just because the main guy's missing and it's one in a slower time, but that hasn't been the case with Andre Gladkov. He's really upped his game and moved the event on, and he is challenging Jonathan Fox, and it'll be interesting to see when they go head-to-head -head tonight, provided he gets into the final, obviously, just how the pressure of that head-to-head -head affects either of them. Well, they won't have raced head-to-head -head since 2013 when Jonathan Fox won the world title. Nick Gladkov also in the medal position. He's close here between four swimmers. Gladkov down in fourth at the moment. Sinovcic from Croatia leads them through 35.99. Really good split there. DeAndre, as you said, the Argentinian swimmer. Trying to post that time to be ahead of his experienced uh, teammate, Guillermo Maro. And it does look like DeAndre may well be taking this one. Yeah, hopefully, and that'll be good for him and good for his confidence. And he'll have another chance to post an even quicker time in the final. But Gladkov, but, I mean, ah, this is taking this super easy this morning. Let's hope he's got a lot reserved tonight. Well, DeAndre in there, 140.93 for Piers D'André. That was a good six seconds quicker wow. than uh, Willabar Maro, the experienced man, went in the fifth of four, so uh, interesting. That's a very good time, actually. Very good time from Piers D'André. 115.08 was his entry time. He was slightly faster than that one. In second position in that heat was Captain Sire. There he is. Satisfied with that one, 115.49. And that was a much faster heat than the first one in terms of depth of the the uh, qualifiers there of the first four. Jonathan Fox, of course, will be first into that final with 111.04. But Gladkov, 116.64, will not be beside Jonathan Fox. Interesting. That could be tactical or um, it could just have misjudged. Yeah, top four there, all under one minute 17. So significantly faster than that first heat. We'll see what that means for the qualifiers. Jonathan Fox still at the top there. Big, big uh, difference between first and second position. The two Argentinians have made it. Guillermo Maro into that final. He'll have more to give in the final 